Watch fans, today is a very exciting day because this is the premiere, the review of a brand new, very interesting new model from Oris. So I was very fortunate to get this model in from Oris and I've been making this video, been holding on to this video because it's embargoed until today. This watch is revealed today at Watches and Wonders in Geneva and here it is, here on my table. This is the premiere of the brand new Oris ProPilot X. This is a completely new model in the Oris lineup. It is of course inspired by the ProPilot. As you can see on your screen now, it kind of has the same design cues, but this is very much a new model from Oris. It has several interesting things going on. One of the very interesting things with this watch is that it's completely made in titanium. Very nicely made. You see this very beautiful kind of satin finish all over the watch. And besides the design and this watch being made in titanium, almost with this kind of integrated bracelet look, which is very popular these days, it is also now powered by the Oris in-house caliber 400. This very interesting new automatic movement from Oris. This is kind of the star of the Oris show now. And what this movement offers is a lot because you get no less than 120 hours or five days of power reserve. You get a very accurate movement as well between minus three seconds and plus five seconds. As you see on your screen now, this is extremely accurate. It's almost down to zero seconds deviation per day. So plus one to minus one on this particular example, which is of course on loan, it's going back to Oris. Very, very nice accuracy. Then you also get 10 years of warranty. You get a very high tolerance towards magnetism. And the last, but also very fun thing about this movement is that maybe you can sense it, but the barrels here, they are kind of resembling the ears of the Oris bear. So sapphire crystal on both sides of this pilot style watch. I don't even think it's a pilot watch. They call it the pro pilot. Maybe because it has the kind of same bezel design as on the Pro Pilot, which much more looks like a Pilot watch. This is much more, in my opinion, an everyday watch. Size wise, I'm super happy with what Oris they decided to do because it's approximately 39 millimeters in diameter, a little less than 12 millimeters in thickness, lock width of 20, and just short of 47 millimeters lock tip to lock tip. So you get a really nice sized watch. So again, having a look at the design, the case, you see this beautiful, very kind of modern design, very kind of sharp angles, no soft bevels or chamfering or anything. It's just very sharp, just very futuristic almost. And it has this very, very nice kind of satin finish. You also see the bracelet here, nice taper, this kind of almost futuristic bracelet and just look at how the light plays with the bracelet here. It is screws, although it's titanium, it is screws. So it's extremely easy to actually remove links. The downfall is you don't get any micro adjustments in the clasp. The clasp is top quality, fold over. And then with the patented Oris lift system they used before on the ProPilot, so you open here and then you open the clasp. A really nice little feature. I don't know if this is any better than a push button release clasp or anything like that, but it's a fun little thing. And if you are in doubt, it says lift. So again, let me just compliment the bracelet on this watch. You see the light play here. You see how the links articulate. Very, very high quality, extremely nice to wear on the wrist. You get regular spring bars so you can actually take off the bracelet and put it on a NATO or a rubber strap if you want to try it on something else. Ever so slightly domed sapphire crystal and also of course a sapphire crystal on the back. It is 100 meter water resistant which is a really nice thing for an everyday watch. I think 100 meters will just keep up with everything you're going to use this watch for in your everyday life. You see although we get 47 millimeters from lock tip to lock tip you have just very, very slightly male end links, so it will wear 
a little more like maybe 48 and a half millimeters from lock tip to lock tip. Very nice titanium, big titanium kind of cone shaped crown here, signed Oris. Very easy to operate. Unscrew it, you see we get hacking. And then the typical problem with the Oris caliber 400, it jumps. You see? Now it doesn't. Date window down at 12 o'clock. The winding is very, very soft. You do get a little bit of resistance, but not a lot. And very, very easy to screw back in. Very nice crown action on this watch. So this is one of three versions. This is the gray, the kind of almost kind of brownish gray in different lighting situations. The dial becomes a little bit very light brown. I think it looks amazing. This is my favorite of the three versions. You can also get a version with a blue dial and a version with a salmon dial. For me, I think it's too bad that with the blue and the salmon dial, they didn't color match the date wheel. They actually didn't color match the date wheel on this one either. It's just white on black, but I think it blends very nicely into this very simple dial layout, very flat, no application of anything. It's printed. So you get the hour markings, the minute markings, second markings, and then you get a little bit of loom at every end of the hour markings, also at 12 o'clock. And you also get a little bit of loom in the hands, these typical sword style hands, which are very much reminiscent of pilot style watches. I can't really show you a loom shot because the loom on this watch is very weak. It is noticeable, but my camera can't pick up the loom on this one. When you look at the blue and the salmon dial, you see it's white loom. So you will definitely get better loom on those versions if you're into great loom. This watch is available at Oris ADs this April. So you will actually be able to go into a store in a few days and pick up one of these. Go and try it to try out this watch if you're interested in it. I just want to very shortly just compare to other titanium watches, just how it wears. This is my Grand Seiko Snowflake. The Grand Seiko Snowflake is bigger, it's thicker. It's also made in titanium. I do feel that the Grand Seiko it, is a little bit heavier. I actually did remove four links, as you can see here. So probably just around 100 grams if you have all the links on the bracelet. I do feel it's a little bit lighter than the Grand Seiko. I also do feel that it wears better. The Grand Seiko simply is a little bit thicker, a little bit bigger. You can see the finishing on the Grand Seiko is, of course, much, much better because of the Saratsu finish, this beautiful polishing. But as an everyday tool style watch, this Oris is definitely much better in its finish because you won't see all the scratches and smudges you will see on a Grand Seiko. So this is just a very short comparison to a watch that is definitely a competition to the Oris if you're looking into high quality in-house movement titanium watches from other brands than the big usual brands. And I think these two are some of the best options if you want a luxury titanium watch. This Oris ProPilot X is priced at 3,900 Swiss francs, so just around 4,000 US dollars, which I think is a really nice deal. Just think that you get an original design from Oris, their own in-house movement. It's completely made in titanium as well. A very special watch. I'm definitely considering one of these because I did have some very nice experiences with modern style Oris watches like my Oris Aquis Date Caliber 400. This is exactly the same movement in these two watches. You can even see that the date window is kind of the same, kind of white printing on black. And I have very nice experiences with this high beat movement. I definitely think this is kind of the perfect, almost perfect two piece collection. You get the modern style dive watch with the Caliber 400 Aquis here. And then you get the everyday kind of stealth looking Pro Pilot X, so kind of a, a very nice little pair, these two. I can definitely recommend Modern Day Oris. I think this is a big, big step towards becoming a much bigger brand and a brand that is very much moving into the higher end luxury segment with this watch from Oris. I can only recommend this watch. It does have its quirks. It isn't really a pilot watch. If you ask me, it's much more of an everyday watch. I do think we missed the micro adjust. You have to remove links and, and hope you get the right fit. You can't just adjust with a few millimeters in the clasp, for example, for a watch priced at around 4,000 US dollars. We could maybe get some kind of 
undergo adjustment or just some micro adjust maybe here in the clasp. And the last thing with this particular version is of course the loom, which is weak. For me, it's not a big problem because I'm not a huge loom freak. I don't really use loom that much. So for me, this would be a perfect everyday watch. And of course, also a wrist shot on my 17 and a half centimeter wrist in circumference. This wears extremely nicely. I got a perfect fit removing four links. It's 100 grams, so it's not like you're not wearing a watch, but it's very light, it's very comfortable, and the size is absolutely perfect. I'm super happy about Oris deciding not to make this a 44 millimeter watch or something like that. They are actually staying with smaller sizes, which I think is a huge plus. You just see how the dial almost kind of turned brownish. So I can recommend this watch if you're looking into a high-end, fun, interesting, kind of original watch in titanium with an in-house movement which has a lot of power, a lot of horsepower in it. I hope you enjoyed this full review of this premiere of the Oris Pro Pilot X. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to leave a comment down below about your opinion of this watch. I'm very interested in hearing your opinion about this watch because it's a completely new model. Thanks a lot to Oris for sending in this watch for review. Unfortunately, it's going back, of course, but I'm considering this. This is on my shortlist now because I really enjoyed this particular version. See you next time. Bye.